Yay, I, all the way yeah! from Minnesota. <laughs> what a gift. What a gift. Thank you wow. for letting us be a part of this. Really yeah, thank you both for being here. Frida is going to, Frida is loving this right now. <laughs> oh, of course. <laughs> all right. So tell us how and when did you meet Frida? You want to go first? Well, uh, the first time I met Frida was really, really young because um, Frida and Lynn owned a Western shop in Jacksonville, Florida. <laughs> And my dad was a score dance caller. And we used to drive up to Jacksonville to the Western shop mm -hmm. uh, and get clothes for him. And I didn't realize that until I officially met her when we were on a art reach um, uh, committee together. And she said, is your dad Chuck Durant? And I was like, yes. <laughs> and so that was in, so I, I met her before I knew she was Frida. <laughs> Yeah, she always stayed that way. But yeah. <laughs> um, and I met Frida, boy, 25, 26 years ago, um, as I uh, came to Planned Parenthood of Northeast Florida. And I remember like it was yesterday walking into the house and meeting Frida and realizing that she and I were going to be building this education program together. And I had no idea what I was doing. And Frida had a, a calm uh, presence about her and a belief um, and that grew in me that we could do anything together. And uh, that has uh, been a mainstay in my life for 25 years. Wow, oh, that's great. Okay, so what about a funny or special story about Frida? <laughs> I have so many. I know, I know. Which one do you Frida? pick? Okay, so one of them, I'll, I'll build on the Planned Parenthood thing just because it's hilarious. But she and I were, uh, as I said, we were building these sex education programs and healthy self-image, healthy sexuality curriculums from scratch. So Frida and I would literally sit in the floor of this library and back in the day when information was in books and we would build these curriculum. And um, then we would go knock on the door and we went into um, all sorts of parts of Jacksonville, helping people have healthy dialogues about about themselves, their bodies, their relationships. And Frida was fearless. And there were times where we were training and my knees were knocking and I would look at her and she's like, you got this. And uh, that level of confidence is something that um, I still carry with me. I still see Frida's face at times when I'm stretching and doing new things as a leader. And I think about Frida. Oh, I love that. It's great. Yeah, and it really benefited me because when our kids were young and they'd ask questions about sex, I'd say, go ask your mom. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that is but, so okay, true. But I have a funny story about Frida because um, when Sam and I uh, finally started dating uh, 21 years ago, I think the first thing Frida said was, <laughs> she did. <laughs> she did. She said, yeah. It's about time. Like she knew before we knew that we were supposed to be together. So. And then she said, look out world. Look out world. <laughs> she didn't say look out world. Yeah. 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 Oh, that's great. That's great. How about um, one thing that you think of that you're grateful for about Frida that comes to mind? Do you want to go first? Yeah, I... Uh, no, don't, don't, don't. I know. Frida has, uh, she's just a rock. Mm -hmm. And um, she believed, it's the funny story in the, she believed in us before we believed in us. And uh, when, um, uh, when Ellie had her very first birthday, she got a card and a check in the mail from Frida and Lynn. Mm -hmm. And that has happened for both of our kids ever since. For a college fund. For a college fund, right? And ah, uh, it just, um, it makes me just smile and the kids smile <laughs> that they're like, oh, it's Frida and Lynn. Yeah. Lynn gets some, Lynn, you get credit too. So, but yeah, super. She's just, she's part, of, she's family. I think my, um, 
I wasn't going to cry. I've actually been thinking about this for days. Mm. Ronnie said it best in that she saved my life. And I can count on two hands. <clears throat> Challenging times in my life where the person that I turned to was Frida. And um, there were times where she literally, as I was leaving an abusive relationship, where the person who got me out of the house was Frida. Two times where I'd be at... Um, an impasse of trusting myself for my ability to stretch further, go forth, go through the hard times. And it was Frida. And I think, you know, as Missy said so well, she believed in us. And it's not just us. It's she believes in um, our entire community and so many people. And look at what has happened because of the love and belief that Frida has. Um, and there are so many, so many examples. But one I really want to share is as a new mom, um, as a new lesbian mom in Jacksonville, where, you know, sports kind of like, hmm. um, we had a colicky baby who's graduating, by the way, <laughs> uh, this year. And uh, Frida came over and she taught me, she was very calm. And she taught me like, okay, here's what you do. And it was about Ellie, but it was also about me. Like, you can do this. You're a good mom. And um, I... Thank you. Mm, wow. Wow. That's beautiful. That's really beautiful. I wasn't going to cry. <laughs> well, well, it was worth it. Because that, 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 those stories are just priceless in, in the heart. You know, it's just amazing. Thank you for sharing that. Any special wish for Frida? Any special birthday wish? I hope you um, understand even a fraction of the impact you've had in the world. The world's a better place with you in it, Frida. Thank you. And we love you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Thank you both so much.